Hi, this is Dan Tisser with Mike Ward Infinity. Welcome to the new 2022 Infinity QX80. Starting with the double arch grill, this has been a standard design feature in all infinities. It's supposed to simulate a bridge over water, which is a common design element in Japanese art. Also with the grill is a homage to origami, part of a Japanese design element. Underneath the hood, we have the VK series V8. This is a direct injection, all aluminum head and block engine, 400 horsepower, 413 foot pound of torque and 5.6 liters in displacement. This engine has been a part of the Infiniti lineup in their full-size SUV since 2004 with the QX56. Coming around to the side here too, we're gonna to see the chrome mirror caps on this beautiful Sensory Series QX80. This is also where we house the around view monitor. The round view monitor has been with Infinity since 2007, first pioneered in the EX35, and it was a first technology from Infinity. It actually also has motion object detection, which will determine that there's objects moving in particular quadrants of the vehicle. So we have a camera on passenger side mirror, uh, driver side front bumper, as well as the rear. Coming around to the side, also a first year wheel style. This is the 22 inch dark chrome wheel, which is on the premium select as well as sensory trim come standard with running boards, as well as what we call a roof runner, which then facilitates the mounting of the cross rail. What I like about the factory cross rails is that they're much more arrow in their design, so they don't whistle. Each crossbar has the capacity to hold 100 pounds, so a wonderful accessory for things like skis or extra cargo boxes, uh, bikes, and stuff. Also, every QX80 will have a class four tow hitch. 8,500 pound tow capacity with that uh, 400 horsepower V8. Also, all power lift gates on all trims. Since this is designed to be luxury to be lived into, this one's also equipped with a rear scuff protector especially for getting bags and luggage and everything over the, uh, the threshold of the curb. And then also here as well, this one has a cargo cover, but then you have additional cargo space here. We have a cargo net as well as a first aid kit. Also a, a new feature for 2022, one touch power return for the third row seating. So you can literally set that and walk away. All QX80s will be equipped with four wheel independent suspension, sensory level QX80s are equipped with body motion control. This is a two hydraulic system connected by cross-link hydraulic pipes to the four wheel independent suspension. It provides a more comfortable ride for passengers by reducing body lean over uneven surfaces. Unlike other systems out there from our competition, it does not require a power source and has no mile per gallon trade-off. So it's an independent system that runs uh, from one side to the other front to back as well. What it does also just under hard cornering is that you're getting much less body lean. Moving on to the second row, I feel like this is one of the best systems out there. Can be equipped with either a bucket or bench seat. This is the bucket seat. First of all, this is a semi-aniline leather that we get in the sensory. So there's a protective top coat on this leather that helps uh, prevent staining. At the same time, it also provides a very supple and soft leather, especially with these quilted seats, which are exclusive to the sensory trim. With all bucket seats, you then also have a console with extra storage space. So you'll have storage down here, drink holders, and storage up front. What I like also too is that if you wanted to remove the center console and create a natural walkway from the second to third row, you can. Tumbling the second row seats is, can be done one or two ways. Manually, spring assisted, to gain access to that third row. Put it down, fold it back up. But then also on the sensory trim level, you do have the ability to tumble those seats from a remote switch up front. Also in the rear, we do have charge ports for USBs, as well as heated uh, and cooled seats. I'm sorry, heated seats for the second row. And then tri-zone climate control where we have the ability to change fan speed as well as temperature.
Also what receives a revision for the sensory trim level is the rear entertainment system. We now have connectivity for USB HDMI as well as SD cards. Also new for this year is that you have connectivity via Bluetooth for headphones as well as headphones that come with the vehicle and also plug in as well. So up to five headphones can be plugged into the system. New for 2022, gone are the dual screens. We now have a single 12.3 inch display. This is navigation as well as entertainment there. Shout out to the boys at Smoking Tire. I'm using a third party uh, podcast app right there, but turning on Android Auto, I can now pull up my Waze, use all of my destination search there. Revised heating and cooling for the car, turning it on. I'll show you how that works. In the sensory, we do get a heated as well as a cooled seat controls right here all hard-coded buttons very easy to read very easy to use also this is the advanced climate control system that illuminates pollutants and allergens using an ion charged air filter even has external sensors that allow the system to automatically switch to recirculation mode when it senses that excessive pollutant level levels are outside here in Colorado where we always seem to have a fire season when it's smoky out do I've seen these cars automatically switch from uh, the recirculated from fresh air to uh, recirculated on its own. Very, very neat system. Also, this vehicle is equipped with a 17 speaker Bose system. This is a performance series. What I love about it is just the attention to de detail. Metal, metal speaker grills here, as well as the tweeters up here. And then also in the settings here is that there's uh, two particular systems that work really well. The Bose Audio Pilot, what it does is it picks up low level vibration noise that are constant, and cancels them out with uh, the same frequency sound coming from the speakers. And then Bose Center Point. This works by creating the left and right channels and simulating a surround sound audio experience. Also with this revised center console too, we now pick up a first time ever in the QX80 wireless charge pad. I have my Samsung Android phone in there. You can tell that's charging with the little LED indicator being lit up right there. QX80 also comes with a whole suite of driver assistance settings that help you maintain uh, safe distances with vehicles in front of you with things like emergency braking, distance control assist, lane departure warning and lane departure prevention, blind spot warning as well as blind spot intervention. And then my favorite, which has actually saved me quite a bit, uh, moving cars around the dealership lot is backup collision intervention. New for 2022 is now the driver attention alert. If the system in the steering detects that there's swerving happening, you're going to get an audible chime as well as a notification that pops up in the center display here that's saying, hey, maybe it's time for a break. And that is new for 2022. Also for 2022, Infinity now has mobile application accessibility. Going into this demo mode right here, that pulls up an Infinity Q60, but you can unlock a car, flash the lights, remote start a vehicle, lock the door, sound the horn and lights. Uh, you have also types of things for uh, location, geofencing. So if someone uh, drives out of a particular area, you can uh, get alerts sent to your phone. The alerts include maximum speed, driver zone, curfew alert, even a valet mode. Uh, in the garage, then you can also get uh, information on as far as like remote vehicle diagnostics. Uh, and then also, too, you do have the ability to contact Infinity personal assistant as well as roadside assistance, stolen vehicle locator, and Infinity customer care. A lot of cool app location integration uh, with services through Infinity. Also standard in all 2022 QX80s is the intelligent rear view mirror. It's a camera that will behave just like a rear view mirror when you have things packed all the way to the top of the vehicle, allowing you to look out the back. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look at the 2022 Infiniti QX80. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I try to do this every week where we walk through a different element of either an Infiniti vehicle or a particular product feature. If there's something that you want to see, please do leave a comment below. I do read everything and try to respond as quickly and as bestly as I can.